Hey Super Brave friends, I'm Joe Karlovsky, the Super Brave Teacher, and today I invite you to join me on the 3F journey. The 3F journey? What is that? It is the journey that makes you a great teacher and or a great parent. Ooh. Hey friends, I'm Joe Karlovsky, the Super Brave Teacher, and today we are talking about the three F's, the three F's. But before I get to that, remember, I am the Super Brave Gay Teacher who is going to tip YouTube in a radically positive and accepting way. I'm going to give visibility and voice to all LGBTQ teachers and students. We will get a million views in a year. We will tip, 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 tip. YouTube. So every time you like this video, every time you share this video, you are sending YouTube a message. So like it, share it, like it, share it. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Back to the three F's. <laughs> Scratchy nose. So the gay teacher tip of the day is the three F's. Anytime you talk to me about education, anytime you ask me about parenting, I always talk about the three F's. It's super simple, and that's why I did that funny introduction video, because it's really not that complicated. The three F's are in order, firm, fair, friendly. I talked about this on a video before, but we need a whole video just for this because it's that important. I don't see it happening. Firm, fair, and finally, friend, finally, friend, friendly. Firm, fair, friendly. Say it with me. Firm, fair, friendly. Firm, fair, friendly. Friendly, friendly, no. So the first F with dealing with kids, especially little kids, is firm. You are an adult. You are the educator. You are a parent. Whatever your role is with children, be firm with them. Kids love it. Just like I told you before, their favorite word is the word no. It shows them that they are safe, but mean it. Your no has worth because you have worth. So when a kid says, can I? Nope, 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 no. Nope. Firm, firm, firm. Let me tell you a little funny story about being firm. So this week in my classroom, kids are starting to get to know me, right? It's the first week of school. And I had a child, and I'll get to that in a second, but we were making hearts for home. So we're coloring and cutting. Two step, nice and simple, color this heart and then cut it. And then you're gonna give it to someone you love at home. Nice and simple. Of course, every kid works at a different pace. So this first week I said, you know what, friends? When you're finished cutting, coloring and cutting, come up here, get a piece of scratch paper, piece of scratch paper, and you can free draw. You can draw whatever you want. You can design whatever you want to do. And one of my child's, one of my children in the classroom says, I don't want to. And I look around and I say, oh, it's not a question. We're all doing free draw. But I don't, but I don't want to. I hear that. I hear that you don't want to. And we're all doing this. This is the expectation. But, but I just tell my mommy that I don't want to and she says that's okay. Is your mom here? Where, where's your mom? She's, oh wait. The boss is here. And right now, you're gonna listen to the boss and you're Karlowski, and you're gonna do some free drawing. And that's okay, five minutes. Do you want me to set a timer for you or do you wanna set a timer? And the friend goes, I'll set a timer for five minutes. And he goes off, he or she goes off, and does the free draw. And it wasn't being mean to the child, it was being nice and firm and saying this is my expectation. And eventually, I'm gonna teach them how to have, make super brave choices and all that stuff, but for right now, they need to know that I am firm and that I have their back. So number one, firm. Number two is fair. You need to be nice and fair with kids. Fair, though, is not equal. Fair is not equal. And I'll tell you a beautiful story of my upbringing. I have three brothers, two older brothers and one younger brother who is right now in heaven. Yes. And, and my parents did a great, 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 great job of loving us equally and being super fair with us. 
But we also knew that fair meant different things. When you were at a certain age, you got a bike. And you just knew that Christmas, if, you're, if it's not your bike year, it's gonna be a little meager. You're not gonna get as many gifts. And that's okay, because fair looks different at different ages. We knew that once we went to high school, we were gonna get a new stereo. That was a big thing. My dad would go find a deal at Best Buy or wherever, and he would get us a new stereo for when you enter ninth grade. So if you're not entering ninth grade, guess what? It's not your year, because they taught us that we're gonna love you equally, but that looks different depending on what age you're at. And also, I don't know if you know me, but I don't love sports as much as my other brothers do, and that's okay. And you know, my dad always said he would subscribe to magazines for me that I liked, he would take me to gymnastics events that I liked, my mom would go to movies with me and do all these special things that I like to do, and it wasn't the exact same, but it was fair. It was fair because we were all different, but they loved us so much. So it's the same thing with kids. They need to know that it's fair. So I'm not gonna be like, cookies for you, no cookies. No, it's gonna be fair. And they need to know that. They need to know that you have their back and that you are fighting for them. The word for fair in Spanish is justo. So that it's just, that it's a just choice. And you get to show them again and again and again that you are fighting for their fairness and for their justice in everything they are doing. So be fair with your kids. Be fair with your students. They notice. And when you make a mistake, guess what you get to say? Guess what, friends? I'm not perfect. That was a not smart choice. I wasn't thinking of the justice for everybody. I wasn't being fair with everybody. So I'm gonna switch this because that's what we do in this class. We are firm and we are fair. And then finally, number three is being friendly. Now you might think, but Joel, uh, you wanna be nice to people. Yes, I'm not saying don't be nice. I am not saying don't be kind. I'm not saying don't be loving. From day one, I tell my students, you are important. I love you. I think the world of you. And you gotta sit down, right? So it's firm, fair, and then finally, friendly. Friendly, friendly, friendly. Because the moment that they think that they can start getting away with things, the moment they're gonna start getting away with things, right? I'm not saying don't let kids be kids. I'm not saying don't let kids be creative and play. I'm saying know yourself, know what you can do and what you can't do. Those are called boundaries. And then stick to it. Be firm and fair with your boundaries. And then finally be friendly with, with your kids and be friendly with your students. It's awesome, they love it. They love when you are friendly and funny and all those other apps, fantastic, fabulous with them. But it has to be firm and fair first before you can be friendly. <laughs> so there you have it, friends. <laughs> this is my mini stories on firm, fair, and friendly. And of course I have hundreds of teaching stories about me being friendly. But I'm not telling them because you need to know first and foremost, first and foremost, that being firm and fair is more important than being friendly. I'm just an alliteration champion today. Yay me! So there you have it, friends. Like this video, share this video. Like I said earlier, every time you like a video of mine, you are sending a message to YouTube and Google that we matter, that LGBTQ plus teachers and students matter. Thank you so much. You are awesome, and I hope you are fair, you are firm, and you are friendly. I love you a lot. You are enough. You are appreciated just for being you. You are fabulous, fantastic, phenomenal. Okay, I'm just talking now. Bye, friends.